card. Uh. Right? I should start off this, uh. continue. Uh. Okay. Now, of course, come... Okay, ready? One, two, three. Well, now I want to come to a very important segment for all our clients out there. How do I actually spot undervalued property? How do I look at a property whether do appreciate in terms of prices or not? And this is how I'm going to do it. In the next 15 minutes or so, I'm going to share with you how do I look at the product, whether does it make sense for you to buy based on all the numbers and facts. I'm very sure just now whatever I share with you during the first one and a half hour or segment, you probably see how number I am in terms of looking at all this information here. So, this is the time for you to learn how do you look at a property do actually make you a profit or not. Let's see further. Now, how do I determine the pricing of a product, whether do make money or not? Let's see further. I based on three very important rules. Whether I see a property has a potential upside, whether do I see a risk involved, whether do I see the property prices, is it new or old price tag? Based on these three things, I'll be able to tell myself, can I buy the property? Whether is it worthwhile or not? Let's look further on how I look at these three segments here. Now, today I'm going to use an example called the treasure to share with you how do I actually look at the property, whether it has a potential or not, whether the numbers make sense or not. I'm not here to ask you to buy this particular product, no. I'm trying to use this particular product to share with you how I assess using numbers, research, to justify whether this product, yes or no, I leave the final decision to all of you to make a decision from there. Right? So, wow, this is a very big development with 2,200 units. Straight away, in most people's mind, they'll say that 2,002 units, is it a very difficult to sell? Yes, a lot of people will have this mindset, but it's nothing wrong. So, are you thinking that this developer, because why? We have to pay ABSD now. Because why? They still have 1,000 units available. And this is another thing, because this development has already sold more than 1,000 units. The next question a lot of people will ask, wow, since there are so many units, uh, will they eventually sell at a lower price? Let me answer all your questions here. Of course, being a big development, what is the advantage? Advantage is your cost of living has reduced because of the maintenance fees. But most important, why this development is so huge? Because they are at the location that is not in the development that has a lot of new launches currently in Avenue 10. What they have currently is in where? It's near to Simei MRT, where currently there is no land for any new launches. And this is the only development that is only there that is brand new. Why do I say so? Very simple. If I look at 2,000 units, actually it's very simple. If I break down into four condos, uh, each unit, each development is about 500 units. It's just that the now that you see uh, is a combined effort of 2,000 units, that's all, right? But if you look at it, how do I know whether this development uh, will have an issue in selling or not? Let's see further. First, we look at the price. Let's look at the numbers here. This development is in the OCR, in the mass market. Where is the price point they are standing? Are they selling at the future price tag? 1,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 8,000, 9,000 or not? If they are selling at the future price tag, maybe yes, you will probably wait for the time for, the, for them to lower price. But today, their pricing is between 1,001 to 1,003 per square foot, which is an additional advantage for you to take note of. But of course, they won't sell you at this price, 950 to 1,000. Why? Because the executive condo already selling you at 1,000 to 1,001 per square foot. So they cannot be selling you at this kind of prices where the EC is already what? Transacted at this price, right? So this is a chart for you to take note of what? This is the chart that shows you all the lands that was being bidded in 2017, 2018. 2017, all the OCR, outer, outside core central region, all the new launches has been sold. Whatever that is going to launch very soon in this coming one, two years, their average break-even price is already 1,005. Future, they need to sell with 15% profit, they must sell at 1,007. If anything, they need to at least average uh, break-even is 1,005. So for those people who are looking at RCR, the upcoming one average is 1,689 break-even. Then those who bought the land in 2018 and 19, their break-even is 1,008 per square foot. They are easily must sell at 2,001 per square foot. Same thing for core central region. 2,006 is the break-even. 2006 is also a big event for 18 and 17 land purchase. Why must you know this? So that if you want to buy a property, you know what price that you are buying. Am I buying a future price? Am I buying an old price tag? That's what you need to know, right? You look at this chart, it will be a very simplified way to, for you to see. Now, if today I ask you to buy something in the RCR at 1006 per square foot, is it a safe bet? 
because the average selling price uh, is going to be 1,009 to 2,001 in the upcoming sem project that's going to launch. So you are buying 1,006, is it safe? Same thing for OCR. The next price that they're going to sell is about 1,7. If I can buy something at 1,003, is there a gap? Is there a margin for you to see? And they important. If I want you to buy a property, I always buy a property that must what? Have a margin that is being built in. Will I pay something at 1,008 per square foot? I will not. I must buy something that is way below what people have paid for. That is important rule, right? Now, let's look at Tampanese Court. How much they bought the piece of land? They bought the land at $600 per square foot. And their break-even uh, is actually 1,002 per square foot. Their profit margin, uh, in order to sell, they need to sell about 1,003 per square foot for only 10% profit. So, are they selling at discount prices? So, if they are selling discount prices, actually they are selling at what? Market price and even very close to an EC price. So, is this safe bet for people to buy? So, I personally look at it what? at a safe bet. I'm, I can't guarantee every one of you to make money to buy this property because nobody can guarantee. I can only do one thing for you here is to make sure that you are buying a property that is way below what people have already paid for. As long as you are buying a property that people are paying, you are paying lesser than what people have paid for, then you are safe. Like this. The Lambit, today the break-even for Treasure is 1195. The EC expected selling is 1050 per square foot. And today, their selling price uh, is between 1,001 per square foot to even 1,250, even 2,003 per square foot. So based on this, is it a fair value? And to make profit, they need to sell 1,003. It's only 10%. So today, if you want to buy a property, what is the price that you should be buying? How do you judge a price? As long as you have all this information, uh, it's able to help you to judge whether the property can make money or not and leave to you. Now, you look at this. The Sumang EC already sold at what price? 1,000, 1,001, 900 over dollars, 1,001 per square foot, also at done deal. So it shows you what? People today are already willing to buy an EC at this price. Even the latest launch at Park Canberra also averaged around 1,001 per square foot sold, right? That is for EC. And look at the current OCR new launches, J Gateway, which is a resale property in Jurong, already sold at average 1,785 per square foot. Park Clementis, 1.6 something per square foot. North Park also average of 1.5. Twin View, 1.4. La Crest is also 1.4. So today, Tampanis, La Crest, uh, Tampanis, uh, Treasure at Tampanis, if they are selling at 1,003 and below per square foot, wise, below all these things, is it a fair? See, most important, my friend, I'm not saying anything here. I'm just trying to let you know. In a good market, in the right market, people are really willing to pay 1,004 per square foot, 1,005 per square foot, 1,007 per square foot. So you are buying anything below, is it safe for you? I cannot guarantee you how much you can make. I can only tell you one thing. You must be buying below what people have paid for. That's how safe you are in terms of purchasing. Of course, Manhattan resale market already done at 1,000, which is at CMA area, 1,002 plus per square foot, 1,003, has already done. Now you are buying a brand new development at the kind of same price, is it safe? Double Bay, also same thing, 1,001 per square foot. Is it safe bet? Resale market already command this price. Now you are a brand new development at this price. Is it a safe bet? Garden residences, same thing. OCR, 1,005 per square foot, 1,006. This is what people already paid for. Yes, they are nearer to town. But at least people are already paying these prices. You are paying something what? At a lower price, at least you feel that you are safe if you want to buy something in Tampanese. Is it a new price tag or old price tags? First, treasure. In the past, Tapestry, Alps, they are the first two to launch. Alps, in fact, is the first one to launch, right? In the area of Tampanese Avenue Dam. They already launched and the average price is 1,002 per square foot. Whereas Treasure, average is about 1,003. The Tapestry currently is still selling at 1,003 plus per square foot. So are they selling above the market price or are they selling at average price? That's what I'm trying to show you here. Now, you look at OCR new launches. Uh, last time, uh, why in 2015 to 2016, uh, all this development, uh, Park Rivera, Kingsford, Water Bay, Alps, Symphony, High Park, all this development has been sold out already. Their price was sold at about 750 per square foot for a two-room flat. Two-room. Today, Treasure, lowest is 781. Are they selling you at a new price tag or old price tag? If today I ask you to buy treasure, a two-bedroom, 700 square feet, 600 square feet, at $900,000, $900, I tell you, please don't buy. 
But if you are paying 700,000 to 800,000 range, is it comfortable for you to buy? Because all this development has been sold, already sold at this price. Now you are buying something at this kind of range at $800,000. Is it a safe bet? Are they overselling you at this price? That's why I'm saying, why the developer eventually can still sell the unit? Because they are not so-called selling at a high premium. That's why more than a thousand units have been sold recently. Why? Because the price tag is ready. If the price is not ready, you think you can sell 1,000 units in today's market? It's not possible. It's only because the price tag is ready, that's the reason why the property can sell. And that's important for you to take note of, right? Same thing for a three-bedroom. A three-bedroom has been sold, Kingsford, all the different development. 1,000, 1,001 per square foot, 1.1 million, 1.1 million, 900,000. Same thing for treasure, it's starting from 1.1 million. So are they selling above market price? If today I ask you to buy treasure, maybe three bedroom at this kind of square feet, maybe at 1.34, 1.4 million, maybe you think, say, Kelvin, I think it's a high risk. I agree with you. But today you can buy at this kind of 1.1 million. Is it safe? That's for you to take note of. So important is what? I always like to buy a property. Uh, most important is what? Not the new price tag. I always like to buy an old price tag so that it's safe for me to enter. Like what I mentioned just now, this is the very is one of the examples I mentioned to you just now. We talk about what? These articles. I talk about the, how the book cost actually what? Came down, right? But what he do here is that he makes some money, he goes to where? He goes to property, right? So that's the reason why I'm saying, of course, buying a property is for long-term, looking at long-term investment, or long term for your own sake. I can only share with you, when I look at a property, I must look at what? Most important, the three important things. Is there a potential? First, others already paid 1,005 per square foot. I'm paying 1,003. Is there a potential? Second, if the market doesn't do well, my risk is it lower than others? Am I buying a price tag that is older or newer price tag? If based on these three factors, if you can find a property that suits these three things, I can tell you, you probably safe to enter the market for that particular property. That is how general. That is generally how I actually look at the property in terms of purchasing. If you have any question and you are not sure sure how to look at property, whether is it a worthwhile to buy or not in any development, feel free to check with any of my Propnext people. They will be able to advise you in the right way and showing you all the statistics so that you have a clearer picture. Now, important is every one of us need to stay safe and keep calm. All right. I believe that let's hope for this whole virus to be over soon and wish every one of you to take care of your health, great health and happiness. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.